We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. In this video, I'll cover actress Amy Adams. She's known for her roles in such movies as Steven Spielberg's Catch Me If You Can, 2002. She was in Adam McKay's Vice in 2018. She was in Her in 2013, directed by Spike Jones with actor Joaquin Phoenix. She was in Dennis Villeneuve's Arrival in 2016. Jeremy Renner and Forrest Whitaker are also in this. She was in the Zack Snyder Superman movie Man of Steel in 2013 as Lois Lane. So I took a look at Amy Adams. One actor I'm fairly confident that she resembles. This is Joe Pantoliano. The other I am less certain of, but I will give my guesses. I think Amy Adams may resemble the cast of Risky Business, for example, a 1983 movie with Tom Cruise. So out of this, I think Adams may resemble Pantoliano and maybe actress Rebecca De Mornay. All right, connections. Joe Pantoliano and Amy Adams can be linked through... The CBS television series Dr. Vegas. This ran 10 episodes in 2004. Adams plays Alice Doherty. Pantoliano is Tommy Canterno. Also thought Amy Adams may resemble Joe Pantoliano and possibly actor Dan Hedaya. The connection here is through another midnight run 1994. Yeah, from 2011 Amy Adams was also an actress rumored to have appeared in Tom Cruise's film Rock of Ages in 2012 under consideration for the part of Constance Sack. Yeah, Paul Thomas Anderson's The Master. This may be another film worth mentioning. This is from 2012 with Amy Adams and actor Joaquin Phoenix of her is also in this cast. So that's two movies they were in together. All for a third guess as to actors that may resemble Amy Adams. I think she may resemble Joe Pantoliano and possibly actress Renee Zellweger from a future film. I found this link. The movie Enchanted 2007. Amy Adams played Giselle Reportedly, actress Rennie Zellweger was also being considered for this role. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is easteregguy, that's G-U-Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.